Ladies and gentlemen, I have returned. Now, have you guys and gals seen the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell, and of course, you will get a notification from YouTube. And don't worry, I'll discuss my social media accounts when this video is completely over. Now, once again, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab something to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Once again, there'll be an article. Okay, now I have not s discussed any news at all about Becky Lynch, because last time I made a video on Becky Lynch, she lost the opportunity to get her belt back, I guess, against Lee Morgan on the episode of Raw. So she took a long hiatus. Now here's the latest update. Probably a lot of you know about it. Now listen to this. Becky Lynch is scheduled to public appear for the first time since her departure from WWE this weekend. And her new report and update possibly return. Okay, also... PW Insider is reporting that, according to report sources, WWE and Netflix, Lynch is expected to return to WWE by the time the WWE Raw premiere on Netflix at the beginning of January. So they want her back to boost up, I guess they call it ratings on streaming service. I don't know how this is going to pan out. You know, and I guess it seemed like from this article, she signed a brand new contract extension. Or maybe she did a, a long time ago. I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore on these wrestling websites. So the question is, for all you Becky Lynch fans, if she does return, it seems like from this article, do you think she will be a baby face whenever she returns? You know, January 2025 on the um, premiere on Netflix? Or do you think she will be a heel? I think she's ten times better as a heel than a baby face because you cannot take her seriously as a baby face. I'm sorry for saying that, Becky Lynch fans, but you know what I'm saying? So you like Seth Rollins. You know, he's good as a baby face, but he's ten times better as a heel because he has that in, in him. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see if this is gonna be true or not true. I think this is really legit because I think W is desperate for having her back. You know, the ratings has not been that good, in my opinion, for Raw, because they're competing with Monday Night Football. Now you don't have to worry about that anymore when football season comes back in 2025. You know, you know, I know football season is still intact, but you get the drift, you know, so they don't have to worry about any ratings anymore. But I don't know how this is going to work out. Maybe they have. A, Ratings for a streaming service for Netflix. I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, we'll see, you know. Um, I just hopefully they have Pyro. I love Pyro for, for WWE. They could afford it. They just choose not to do it every single Monday Night on Raw. You ever notice that? That's the best part of Monday Night Raw. I know you guys don't agree with me, but it is the best part before the show even kicked off. They used to do that back in the day, but I guess... They figure out it was very, very expensive. I understand that. Now, find me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my Twitch media accounts will be down below. Now, if you want to be part of my show, that'd be delightful. If not, do one about it. Have a good one. Enjoy your rest of your Saturday, and I'll be back sometime tomorrow. Deuces!